What's up, YouTube? Void here. Uh, this is gonna be the first episode in hopefully a semi long and semi consistent series of making my game an RPG Maker MV. Uh, this series was inspired heavily by the wonderful Driftwood Gaming and uh, was Zane Zane. What something Zane Soft, I believe. Zane Soft, yeah. So, uh, they're the ones who kind of inspired me to make this series. And the lack of make make game it's just videos on YouTube, there's like barely any actually. There's like Echoes, then some random dude third one. There's a bunch of old ones from William the Unpro Pro. There's Drifty series. And that's pretty much it. There's like a bunch of tutorials, but though not really many for uh, MV, mostly for older engines like BX Ace and XP. So hopefully you might be able to learn something from watching me make a game, but probably not, because uh, I'm not. I I can I look like uh, I wouldn't say. Well, I just recently got back into it. Like, I got this a while ago. I started, and then I just stopped for like five months. And I started again last week, so uh, not gonna be too knowledge. But hopefully, I can do something, right? So, uh, right now, I'm in the middle of making the first available quest after completing the tutorials inside of the guild so yay fun times and uh this yeah this is it okay uh and uh just want to say the old music used will be from the ncs spotify playlist so uh i'll link that in the description so if you want to check it out, you can. It's pretty good. So these are the bandits, but uh, I don't have the bandits made. Nice, nice. Troops. Oh, hold on. I don't even think I finished. Uh... Okay, here it is. Uh, the Blue Shade Bandits, right? One, two, three, seven. I don't. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Images. System. here somewhere I know that but here it is one two three four five six seven eight is that it is that correct or yeah it's one two three four five I remember because this is defined as like 2024 so Let's see. So we can define each of these for the battlers. Uh, let's have the first one use an axe. So that would be number four. So it show, should show him using an axe. Uh, is I don't know if that's too high or not. That's not balanced at all. Uh, the boss was 125 straight across. I feel like that wasn't the best idea, but you know, whatever. Let's see, attack 100, 100. I mean, is that too high? That's a lot of experience, so. No, this should be fine. They have half the amount of HP, so 
and they should be stronger by the time they beat the boss. But I, that might be too high. But then the enemies are super strong. These, like these enemies, 80s, 90s, hundreds on. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna make them. This is a melee character, so he it wouldn't make any sense for him to have uh, high magic or high magic defense. Agility, we can start off at 100. It's an axe, so I feel like he might be slower. So 90, unlock. I don't know. Maybe. That's status ailments. He's not gonna be doing any status ailments, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just put it at like. We'll just put it at 90. I like to have the same as agility most of the time, so. MP doesn't need any HP. He has an axe, so he might be a bit tankier. Let's just go ahead and I don't really just it's characters Okay, right, so this is one, this is two, three, four. So uh, uh this zoom is so weird, don't like it. Uh, one, so this guy can be, I feel like this guy, yeah, this guy would also have to be a warrior, look at what he's wearing, this guy is a warrior, warrior, this guy, this girl, I think, yeah, for sure, is wearing armor, and this one would be a mage, so three warriors and a mage, wow, that's, that, I don't, did I do this on purpose? Because that's kind of that's like what oh, the, that's basically the default thing of what I have. It's pretty must be in my subconscious. But uh, Axe, he has like heavy armor, so you might be have a lot higher defense. This guy. Maybe we should get, yeah, we should give this guy sword and this guy the axe. Alright, two. Oh no, this guy needs to be four. This guy needs to be two. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, it's gonna show up in troops, so we'll just keep Blue Street Bandits. We can have this guy. Axe. It's not Axe, though, it's Sword. This guy's the Axe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. That had a cough there. Hmm. What other weapons are on here? There's a flail. We'll do a flail. Flail seems cool. Three. That's a nice full flail. There it is. Then three. Then this one can have a staff, so, and a stag cloak, oh, rip, dude, shouldn't have closed it. Staff is six. You can go ahead and replace this with magic attack instead. That would make more sense. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and editing the stats. So this guy's a swordsman, so he's going to be probably the most balanced. So what is this in total? 100, 100, can't back. 750. We're gonna deal with help later, actually.
530 so we're gonna make sure all these say 530 in total Take these slowly. Uh, 95. Do you want to use this? Uh, probably. So we're just switching out these two, so that's pretty balanced. And this, this is going to be the tanky guy, so this seems pretty good actually, this is a great tank guy. Uh, this needs to be low, way lower actually. Maybe this also 75. We can go ahead and put, what was this, 90? So we can go ahead and maybe more defense than attack. A foil. know what to do for flail. Uh, let's just also just do balanced. <sighs> Lazy game making. Is that it? 85s. Oops. Maybe actually, maybe it's a little bit more attack, but <sighs> no, we're falling off twenty five points short. Twenty five points, right? No, twenty points. That's 10 points right there. There we go. Well, I think that you know, that's 10 points. I can count. And this one basically will be like the reverse tank. 175, 75. Five hundred ten. Ah, no, but right, right. I feel seventy, seventy, hundred. Probably that'd be good. They don't drop anything now. Uh, let's make sure that you can work. Oh, this. This might hurt your ears. And they're gonna be one on one fights. That'd be in cancer if we had to take them all at the same time. So we're not gonna do that. Level 12. I mean, that's probably slightly under level than what we want. Wait, let me just pause these real quick. Oh, it's not that long. Uh, he does tackle his sword, right? Let's see how viable it is in beating him. We did miss our first attack, which is really annoying. And I mean, he's gonna be weaker. No, he's bouncer, right? Yeah. So, just heal that. Gonna go ahead and set up the time. This might be an annoying battle. 
we have lots of uh, two enemies. This one's stronger, so I hope it is at least since it's a single enemy. That's what's just gonna appear. Uh, it's spell checker. It's trying. Why is it trying to spell check these random letters that screws me? Yeah, I don't. I don't know why it's doing this. Right. The shot that deals wind energy damage to one enemy. That's not the correct description. Whatever. We got the bleeding effect. I think we're gonna. We're just gonna go ahead and go, go up. We don't have any TP, so. Of course, it would miss. Vortex Spear. Oh my god, 11 HP! Alright, that's... Actually, I mean this was... This is actually pretty easy, right? That, that wasn't hard. Uh, so, they should be fine. Because 90-90... Yeah, so the rush should be fine. We did use the sword, so we're just going to make sure. Let the rest of them also use the correct weapons. Should be way higher. So they guard. Yep, that was an axe. So this should be a staff. Uh, add that. Remove that. And it should do magical damage. If it does, ex <clears throat> if it does a lot less, then we know. Okay, I didn't realize how fast Mordecai was. Uh, right, guard. Yep, magic attack. Yes, and that did quite a bit of damage. Nice. So that's where. There you are. We can go ahead and set the troops. Let's auto name. Swordsman. Ax Axer. Axer. Sure. <laughs> Axer. Okay. Uh, Flailer. Oh, I can't type today. Flailer. And then... Magic. Magic. That's triggering me. Staffer. No, that's not a staffer. Okay. Uh... Mage orcs. <laughs> so their combined total, including oh, I need to set the HP values actually. Ah, uh, do I want to? Ah, uh, that seems like so much work. Okay, to balance them a little bit more than 
Okay, actually, so that can be the base, right? So, okay, let's just do 7,000 as the base. Axe guy should have 50,000. 7,500. That's 500. So the easiest one would be the mage, then the swordsman, then the foiler, then the tank. Makes sense? Actually, no, with the tank we have magic, so we should all be fairly, fairly. Then the tank guy just ends up having the most, whatever, I guess he can just be the strongest. Makes sense? Uh, where was I? Shouldn't have post cup leader. So seven thousand, not seven thousand. Can't count seven hundred because we always take one off. We just take all the numbers up to the last zero. So my uh, my experience formula is. Basically, the all the numbers before the first zero, plus all the parameters. Oh, let's divide that by four. You get three hundred seven point five experience. Yeah, that makes sense. Seven point five. We're just gonna go ahead and round up. So this guy should give the most experience. Three, 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 running up. Also, MP. I don't. I don't have too many using MP. I just gave them 500. Let's give you 500. I mean, I'm not giving her any. I need to do that though. I need to give them cells. I don't know about custom spells though. Here, we have some spells. Velocity conversion. Sure. 20, right? So 5 times 200. That should work. Oh, uh, I gave them Crash. Let's just rename Crash. Because. Because why not? This is just using the regular attack formula, so. Or attack, or action sequence, right? Same one under attack, right here. It's just the zoom up into the target and attack. Hold on. Actually, that makes me want to check velocity acceler conversion and acceleration. Velocity conversion. And then there was which one was it? Transition spiral. No, there. That makes no sense. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is.
Right, so it's a powerful magic attack. Uh, it's 50% to slow, them, slow him down or speed him up. If you speed him up, uh, rip. Or if you slow him down, yay. So it's kind of like a gamble. So you slow, slow down. Whoops. Strong magical attack. Magic attack, not magical attack. 20 MP. I mean, we do have if it speeds them up, which is 50% chance. That's gonna be pretty, pretty bad. So, it's a gamble on that one. That's not it. So that's hits two enemies. So that's essentially a 40% chance to slow an enemy down. Because you're hitting two of them for a 20% chance each. If you both of them were to slow down, that would be a 125th chance. But since it's just two of them, it's 20 by themselves, so that would be 40% chance to slow them down, which is pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and nerf that a little bit. I mean, and this one hits two enemies, so... That works. Right. Just change this from crash to something else. Not very good with names. we can have smash nope that sounds lame how about okay we just need to think of something super crash I have shatter that's a magical deck uh, let's try blast. Not really a blast. It's physical attack. I'm just gonna go with smash right now. <laughs> smash. make sure that that area is fine yeah that works actually they should probably be closer but this one should be back in the back flail should be kind of in the middle ish in the middle ish this one should be probably up close, right? Should also be like middle-ish. Okay, not really middle. <laughs> this is lying to me, but it's close enough, I guess. Yeah, this is more the middle. Yo, wait, did I add the same one like a million times? Hold on, actually, did I change this one? Or because this is showing that, showing that, right, I don't think I changed this one, rip, is this the first copy, right? Add. There we go, now it's showing the right guy. Gold. We should give them. 
that swoops in, right? How much gold do we want them to drop? I mean, do we want to give them any item drops? I'm not too fan of giving item drops, but... Uh, uh. Actually, I have an idea for item drops. We'll come back off the bat. Gold. If we look at this, let's see how much common spirit particles are. 30, right? So you basic so you have 50% chance of getting 30 gold, 25% chance of getting 60 gold. So let's just give him 75 gold. Because <laughs> well, you're only gonna be finding these once, so not they're not permable, so this is honey gold works. Oh, then we need to have like the boss, right? Because I have five of them. So we're gonna have the boss. Oh, hit my desk. I wonder if. I'm just good. Oh, we need to set up all this stuff. I mean, I think. Okay, right. Just to make it a little bit harder. We're just going to have make this fight a little bit harder. Elemental spells will be ineffective or less effective, not ineffective. Oh my god. Alright, change them, not just leave them. I don't even need to bother with those. Yeah, not gonna really sell these for bandits. This isn't even the main story quest. This is an option, optional quest, right? Optional in quotation marks. Like all the quests are gonna be optional. What I mean by optional is that basically in this guild, the way you progress the story is by like ranking up to the next class, right? In order to do that, you have to complete quests. So I, I could just have like a bunch of quests just set on a uh, variable, right? And just like have like a billion quests and they could just complete all those billion quests and it's like rank up to the highest rank or whatever, right? Uh, but the problem with that is then I would have to set up enemy levels, right? To make sure, because because I could have like, oh, this is a class C quest, right? And this is class A quest. Huh. Right, I'll just think about that later. I think an idea is forming my head what to do with it, but there might be some extra optional quests. There's gonna be optional quests, but they're not gonna be guild quests, so. Let's still hit it. Alright, smash, smash, conversion, yep. Just gonna copy over the boss. 
HP, that's quite a bit of HP. I don't know if we want to change that. I think we might want to change this. I don't know why. Are all my bosses just completely, completely balanced? I need it. Yeah, dude, all my bosses are just completely balanced. Completely. Just, just so balanced. We're not gonna mess with these, so. I need to add the breeding tag to all these kids. Dang. That's not what I meant. That's also not what I meant to do. I don't think I've been putting in the That problem is easily solved <laughs> So this is gonna be like the bandit boss, right? Do we have any do I have any cool looking soldier no the ah uh, you that's messed up. Soldiers, skeletons, scobras, golems, giant samurai? No that oh my no, that's not gonna work. Not even facing the right way. That's just easy to fix. That's from VX DLC right there. Oh, all right. Uh, I mean, this is default RTV. I think we should just go with the random, randomly generated guy. Does he look like a bandit boss? Maybe we can change up the hair. Let's add a mohawk. Easily bandit boss. So freaking pale. Like, there's, n there's like no, there's not that many good skin color options. Like, that's vampire. That's I don't know, like, sick class. That's blue people. That that's pretty good actually. Like, this skin color is pretty good. Uh, and there's this, which is like they just added a gray filter on top. This one. They added even more gray filter. I don't understand their, pro their what they were going through when they made these two. This one's pretty good. This one's actually, actually, yeah. Actually, I should keep this one. This one's pretty good. I don't think I've used it that much. This one's also like another vampire, less vampire y. This one's just pink. This one's like, dude, like, these are like, so bright. I think that's just why digital vibrance went. I think I actually want to give it this. Oh my god. The expressions. Ok, 
okay, we need to make this bandit boss seem pretty, pretty baller. So, let's have, I mean, that looks fine. We don't really need to add any. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. These swag mohawks right here. Why is he so worried, dude? No. Oh, that's oh, that's getting better, dude. That looks no. That looks sinister. What color is that? blue eyes on? Uh, you can't even tell. Doesn't matter. Oh, so eyebrows. No, those bush bushiness makes it. Uh, we should probably change the face. Like this always gives off the anger, but also makes them look older, right? Don't like. There's there's like not that many good male faces. See, this makes them look a lot younger. Right? See, this is like you know 18s, 20, early 20s. This is like teenager right here. This one is like dying of actually no hold on wait this one just adds like bigger i don't know i was gonna say deprivations but that's almost definitely not the right word makes them look rougher i guess he's already got the triple earrings The nose. Does the nose matter too much? Dude, that look. Voldemort confirmed. Dude, that nose is eerily realistic. I actually kind of like Dude, this is. Dude, I didn't even notice this was here. This side. Dude, I actually like this. It actually looks pretty. Dude, that nose. Oh my god. Boss, want character X? No, we want to import weak shade character set. Weak. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Weak. We don't need damage character frame. Do we? Do we? No, we don't. Go ahead and save the settings. Nice, so we have that set up. We're gonna go ahead and set up this too. We're gonna have why not? Is there like a club icon? There is a club. There is a like well I don't understand why they decided to add this. Oh maybe he could be a gunner. I don't think we've had like any gunner anyways. But I mean guns aren't all too common. It could be the mace. I 
don't know if we want to do mace or club. 9, 10, 11. We can do both. There we go. Easy. That was... <laughs> we don't have to decide we can do both. So half the time he'll be doing club, other half time he'll be doing mace. So that's a semi-random el oh my semi-random elements. Get the replayability to see if you can get the weapon. Let me go ahead and change some of this stuff up. So the boss, right? Ah, uh, no, he's like a normal person, right? So he wouldn't really be resistant to any of these. But, uh, he wouldn't be weak to either, right? Because I don't like having just regular people having whatever different resistances and stuff, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna include that, right? That's probably what, that's the reason why I didn't do it for this. But I did include it for creatures. Didn't have it for this, didn't have it for this. I didn't have it for these because this is the beginning of the game, right? You're not gonna, when you're fighting these, you're not even gonna have access to any elements, so it didn't really matter, but that's why I did these. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, anyways, right? Uh, attack element. You don't want it attacking nice physical. Does it really matter? I don't. Does it matter right now? At least. We're gonna have to change some of this stuff up. MP? Nah. No MP. Attack. He's a boss, right? He has to be stronger. So, do we just want to do flat 140s? Don't worry. I'm going to eventually change the flats, you know, when we get access to a lot of different stuff. This is still really early game, so. I'm actually going to lower this. Maybe four five hundred. Just by a thousand. He is stronger, so kind of semi balances out. That's not zero. I don't know why I do it like the hard way. We're giving a total whole 12 less experience right here amazing dude that's just incredible gold I don't have a gold formula I need to make one but most enemies aren't gonna be dropping gold because it doesn't make sense why would a slime drop a uh, slime a uh, slime dropping gold make sense? Spirit. And why would a spirit drop gold? An imp dropping gold makes sense. But you know, I was kinda consistent with these, so snake wouldn't drop gold. Raccoon, maybe, but probably not. Spiders, no. Why would they drop gold? Bandits, yep, drop gold. These stuff, nope. Doesn't make sense. Wouldn't drop gold. Bandits drop gold.
also that that's it's pretty OP right there the legendary final boss Shouldn't that make it like basically impossible to hit him? I need to test this out. Even though <laughs> completely irrelevant to what we're doing, I need to test this out. Miss. We're just gonna miss him forever and he's gonna miss us forever. Yeah, okay. Also, hold on, sound cipher speed isn't working. Uh Enter I can't read that shift. Needs to be shift to shift. Let me just make sure it works first. Cause I need it to work. Oh, it's a toggle. I can't. There's enough balance of difference. It's noticeable, but I wonder if we can speed it up a bit. Four times the speed instead of double the speed. There we go. Now it's noticeable. That's pretty noticeable. That works. But I also kind of wanted to. Alright, just control C, control V. That's good. Of course, it'd be the exact same health file. No, still the exact same health file. That doesn't help. Let's go ahead and delete that. We don't need that. <gasps> Take a quick stretch break. Alright. I think that's good for this episode. Uh, we made some progress, I guess. It took like an hour just to make four, five enemies and completely balance them. Alright. That's, that's pretty lit. It took, five, took an hour. See, it takes a while to do this stuff. 
Yeah, so that's it for this episode. I don't know, by the time next episode comes out, some stuff will probably have been done. So, you know, thank you for watching. And have a good day. And as always, goodbye everyone. Or is it goodbye everybody? I think it's goodbye everybody. Goodbye everybody.